How to prevent diabetic neuropathy before ending up with diabetic amputations. It is recommended that everyone invest in a blood glucometer, which could cost only about 20 US dollars. We should make it a habit to check fasting blood sugar and random blood sugar at least once a week even if we are not yet diabetic. Make sure your fasting blood glucose in the morning should not exceed 5.6 millimol per liter and random blood glucose should not exceed 8 millimol per liter. Be sensitive to your foot health and look out for signs like pain, burning, tingling and numbness in legs and feet, sudden slow down in wound healing caused by minor injuries and rapid infection due to diabetes which affected normal blood flow. Sensors in the feet are affected due to hardening and narrowing of blood vessels. Ulcers affecting the toes and the ball of the foot or under the big toe. See your doctor immediately even if you have abnormal experiences with your feet or even if they do not hurt. Look out for foot deformities that change the shape of the feet. Always consult your family doctor to ensure you prevent gangrene that causes decay and death of tissue and might raise the need of amputation. Never overlook skin dryness, cracks, damage to heels, scaling, broken skin between toes, peeling, 10. Don't take calluses lightly because these calluses and corns can turn into ulcers if not treated in time. John's Alwyn Global Media Channel suggests the following efforts to mitigate risk of diabetes-related amputations. Problems by doing the following. 1. Always make sure that your blood sugar levels remain under control and follow a frequent exercise regime at least by walking 10,000 steps a day even inside your compound. 2. If you are already pre-diabetic or diabetic PLS, take your medications as prescribed by your family physician. 3. Regularly check your sugar levels. 4. Make sure you have good feet health in case of diabetes. 5. Keep a close watch on your feet for any injury, cuts, or ulcers. Without delay consult your physician immediately if there are foot health issues. 6. After bathing, dry your feet properly and moisturize. 7. If you want to soak your feet then do so in warm water only. 8. Quit smoking. 9. Prevent activities that can cause injury or burns to feet such as walking barefoot, using hot water bottles, working in dirt and mud. 10. Do not pop the blisters or try to self-medicate them without proper guidance from your family doctor. 11. Always maintain your nails straight and avoid cutting the cuticles. 12. Wear clean and dry socks and make sure your socks are not too tight, constricting blood flow, and shoes well fitting and not tight shoes. Keep your feet, keep your feet clean, warm and dry always.